I'm Jess. I'm a nurse and a mom with a passion for flipping furniture. I'm using that passion to pay my way to gain my master's in nursing. So join me in this journey and let's flip this script. So today, today's project is beautiful. It has a lot of potential. It's a very unique piece. But you can see that it is absolutely filthy. Like it's it's been someone's canvas for a while and then this is like sticky tape and then on top we have gum and more gum and more gum and so I got my work cut out for me this thing is filthy um, but these are a little cute I love this like I love you mom and dad I'm gonna try not to sand that away I'm just gonna scuff sand because I think that would be really special if that was underneath the piece and we keep that for whoever this kid was I think her name started with an A going by this, but yeah, I'm excited for this once I, once I tackle how filthy it is. So first we're going to start with scraping the gum and I'm going to use one of my favorite project products. So be before I even start to clean this piece with my usual um, pride cutter, I'm going to use Goo Gone and just spray it liberally on these nasty pieces. Glue Gone can you uh, leave a residue, kind of like a sticky residue. So I'm doing it before I do the crud cutter. Um, I don't even know what that is. It looks like blood. I hope it's not blood. You. And I'm a nurse, so <laughs> if I'm bothered by it, I can't imagine what you guys are thinking right now. But it does have so much potential. All right, so we're gonna let that sit. I think you leave it for like 10, 15 minutes, and then we'll come back and scrape. You guys can see this gross I just sprayed it with crud cutter that's where the sticker was that is just coming off this piece like look at that are you talking to me uh, do you want me to talk to you I'm just look how dirty this is you So, because we don't know if that was blood or not, I've decided, and this thing is still like a hot mess and just filthy, I decided to use um, Go Clean Go's recipe for um, leech, hot water, and Tide. If you don't follow them on Instagram, you should. They have the best cleaning tips. Um, so I'm going to just go and like clean the ever-loving you-know-what out of this. I already changed the water because it was so dirty. Are you going to record me, buddy? Thank you. Like, what button? You can turn it off now. So after so much cleaning, I was finally ready to um, try some stripping on these drawers. Just there were so many layers of paint. Um, so I ended up doing that. It didn't work the greatest, to be totally honest, but it was a start. It helped so that I could, you know, not spend my entire life sanding. So I strip these down with the stripper, I just get a Canadian tire, and I give it at least 15 minutes wrapped in saran wrap because if it dries out, it stops working. Um, then I just take my putty knife and I scrape it off into like a container that I let dry before I dispose of it because, um, yeah, it can, it can be flammable. So I did scuff sand and... Um, 
um, totally sand the middle drawers down to bare wood, but for some reason that footage did not save. So I primed it after sanding it and again cleaning it. And then I'm going in right now with one of my favorite colors from Bare, and this is called Bonsai Trunk. It is one of my favorite colors in the world. I painted my kitchen cabinets this color, and it's just such a like muted grayish green. And this piece had a lot of detailing, so I'm just going in with um, brushes in some areas and then my roller in others. And because it's a darker color, I'm using my trick where I brush on the paint and then I go over it with a foam roller just to get rid of any brush strokes and that's what I'm doing here. and then we went over it with a polyacrylic just for extra durability. Then I took the raw wood drawers into the garage and I wood conditioned it followed by using early American um, stain on these and I just love the wood elements with the green tones of the, the painted piece. <music> just to further elevate it, give it a, some more contrast with different textures. So I stapled this all on after taking the wood part, the wood panel off. And after I had completely finished that, I noticed there was a great big seam in the middle of the burlap. And I ended up having to redo this with a different piece of burlap, which was annoying, but we got it done and and I ended up loving how it turned out, but you'll see, you'll see when I spot the seam, I'm not happy. vinegar trick on low heat to boil off the old paint and varnish. Okay, I'm so excited to find what was under that paint because look at this. That is going to go perfect with the greens and wood tones. I am so excited. I absolutely love this hardware and I love when I can reuse hardware with a piece. But it really, working with vinegar is not ideal. Obviously, I don't have cute manicured hands. Sorry, guys ever. My nails always look like garbage because I'm always working with them. All right, I'm, I'm so excited.
how this turned out. It's honestly my favorite piece I've ever done and it ended up selling within 24 hours. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please consider liking, subscribing, commenting. It all helps me out and I really appreciate it. Um, if you want to support the channel further, I do have a buy me a coffee account. Again, no pressure. Um, and then some of you have asked for my Amazon wish list, which is always in the description as well. Again, your support means the world to me. And here's just the last shot of the before and after. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.